I ate and fell out. Girl, didn't wake up until almost midnight. <laughs> and as soon as I sat down in the car, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> there's no power steering fluid in the car. Right, so let me talk quickly. So the decorations that I picked up at the Dollar Tree was this like tiny little wreath. I'm wearing pretty little things. Of course, I thrifted this. Coming back in the car and waiting for it, I show up to Papa John's. I pull out my phone, I place the order on my phone, and then just go in there and pick it up. Goody perps, happy holidays. No, <laughs> what's goody perps? Happy vlog days. I am so sorry I did not finish my vlogging last night, but once I got home, I ate and fell out. Girl, didn't wake up until almost midnight, but it's a brand new day and I plan on being productive. But you know how that goes. Jonah just pooped on the ground in front of the door, the front door. Bad Jonah. Bad Jonah. But um, right now I'm about to, and I'm going to go to, it feels like there's something on my nose. Then I'm gonna go to Walmart to get a salad or two, and then off to work for that hour or less. <laughs> and then I really, 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 really like to tackle getting the house ready for the holidays. I mean, I want to do like a deep cleaning and stuff, but I need I need to make a list of all the stuff that I need to do so I don't need anything out. And you guys are blinking, of course. <laughs> you guys, I completely forgot that I needed power steering fluid. I knew I had to get up early and get it this morning. Sorry about the shadow. It's like I barely moved my my wheel when I by the time I got home from work yesterday. And as soon as I sat down in the car, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no power steering fluid in the car. So before I even turned on the car, I did what everyone should be doing. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed first. I was like, Lord, please get me to my appointment on time. And then I could worry about the steering fluid later because I don't have any, any, did I say brake? Power steering. I don't have any power steering fluid. But yeah, I, I made it here to my appointment. So now this lady's like following behind me. I'm like, stop following behind me. My car is barely drivable. But I got here on time and safely. But um, there's probably no way I'd be able to leave here without it. So Walmart's like right across the street, like down the street, across the street. But I have to make a U-turn in order to get there. And there's no way this car would be able to do that. So there's a Winn-Dixie right across, like right next door to where I'm going. So I think after I leave there, I'll head over there and pray that they have power steering fluid in there. Because I don't know how we're getting into Walmart today. <laughs> I'm back home now 
I'm gonna put you on the charger because I still haven't charged you yet, but let me talk quickly. So the decorations that I picked up at the Dollar Tree was this like tiny little wreath, like a wreath that you put on the actual tree, it's an ornament. Then we have Snowman. This is also an ornament. I showed you guys this, it was the cross. Also an ornament that would be put on the tree. A big snowman. You can't get more summer, I mean summer, <laughs> more snow winter wonderland than an actual snowman. I got two of each of those. And then I got white poinsettias with tiny little red and green in it. I'm not putting these up today, but I'm gonna hold on to them until I collect more Christmas stuff. I have not vlogged since this morning. It is now going on nine o'clock, but this is the fit. I'm wearing pretty little things. Of course, I thrifted this for like $2 for the whole outfit. <laughs> it's like tie-dye and stuff. The thing is, I, I put this like in my bag to buy before I even looked at the size. I didn't even look at the size until I got home. I'm like, this thing looks kind of small. And then I checked the tag and it says size two. <laughs> but thankfully, it still sort of fits. Like, it's only supposed to be for loungewear anyways. Although I'm leaving the house now. But just wash my hair and I'll be retwisting it and curling it tomorrow. And I am looking comfortable to say the least. Ooh, sorry, I'm here yawning and everything. Um what is, I told you I have to get out of the house for a little bit. So I decided to get some food and I have the new Papa John's thingy. What is it called? Not the Papadillas. I haven't had a Papadilla in a while, but I, I'm, I have to remember to get that the next time. Oh, the Papa John bowl. Mmm, I didn't even ask for a spoon. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, look how good that looks. It's a lot for only $8. I'm gonna try my best to eat my food right now. I should probably find a better parking space because this place is like a little crowded. Uh, try and find a place that's more secure. Let me tell you how much of an introvert I am. And if anybody else can relate, tell me. I pulled up to Papa John's and instead of going inside and ordering the food and waiting for it or ordering the food and then coming back in the car and waiting for it, I show up to Papa John's, I pull out my phone, I place the order on my phone and then just go in there and pick it up. You that afraid to talk to people? Really Violet? <laughs> That's how big of an introvert I am. I would rather stay here and wait for my order place the order in the car right in front like right in front of the restaurant then to go in ask for the order give them my credit card wait around in there a couple minutes till it's ready or even walk in there and you know give them my credit card and place the order and come back into the car no she wanted to show up here look dead at the restaurant right in front of it and place the order from her phone and then just go in there and be like yeah i'm here for tiffany <laughs> guys i have been having really bad brain fog really really bad brain fog and i am hoping and praying that i do not have a vertigo attack because i haven't had one in a long time it's been years since i had a full-on but this is exactly how I feel right before it starts. Even driving here, like the colors, like the lights and everything on the street, like it was just like really off. Like it shouldn't have been looking. What is that crawling on my windshield? Ugh, I hope it's not a roach. Is that a roach? Anyways, it's outside. It's not inside my car. It better stay there. But yeah. Even like the, the lights and everything outside in the street was like playing tricks with my eyes and I pray I get back home safely. Well, if you see this video, then I made it back home safely. Unless somebody else uploaded it for me. 